Africano pays off. Welcome to Athletes Unplugged, sponsored by Geico. I'm Savannah Collins with Taylor Fricano. Our position today, opposite hitters. So tell me how you ended up playing that position, because I know you played a lot of different positions in college, too. Yeah, so I was originally a middle, um, and then I wanted to get more swings. So I asked to transition to the opposite position, um, where I was a really big block, and they kind of put me there so that I could get more swings, um, but also because in the U.S. the outside hitter gets like a lot of balls, it's a big outlet, so they wanted to have me as a big block there. Um, but then also in high school I transitioned to the outside because they wanted me to get even more swings. <laughs> so I ended up playing outside in high school, but in college it was more middle and right side. You have a lot of responsibility defending, like you said, usually the best, most often set hitter on the team, the outside. What is it like carrying that responsibility, like knowing that you have to be the true block all game and set up the rest of your defense? Um, I really enjoy it because I would say that blocking is my specialty. I think that it's by far my best skill. So for me, I feel very comfortable there um, just because that's what I do best. So I don't mind, and I actually prefer to take on the stronger hitter. So when we're making a, a matchup against the team, I'm like, I want that outside hitter. That outside hitter is the one that's going to score. I want to be up against them. Um, just because I also do better with like a big, strong hitter. Like the crafty girls mm. are okay, but they'll avoid me. Yeah. And I'm like, I want to stuff box somebody, <laughs> you know? So it, I enjoy it. Who has been your favorite? person to defend at AU, whether they've been a big challenge or it's just always fun going up there at the net with them. I really enjoy blocking Betty and I also don't enjoy it, <laughs> um, but out of everyone, I like Betty the best because she really challenges me. Mm. I've been on her team three out of the five weeks, so I didn't get to do much of it, but she is by far my favorite because in the case that I set up really well and she hits into me, which is not often because she's fantastic. One, it hurts really bad, <laughs> and it's also like such a big point. Like you got to block Betty De La Cruz, which doesn't happen often. Um, but then she she just is like such a smart hitter, and she's really physical, mm. which is hard to come by. And so I really enjoy blocking against her, even if like I don't block her the most. Like there's other girls that I get more blocks against, but yeah. Betty's by far my favorite person to block against. The ultimate challenge. Yes, she is by far the best outside <laughs> hitter here, and in my humble opinion, and. I love to just be across from her. So would you rather, as an opposite, have a game-winning kill or a game-winning block? Block. Oh, wow. It's like, like not that. even a question. It is a block because a kill is like, yay, go you. But a block <laughs> is kind of like, you tried and I stopped you. Mm. Like I did not allow you to even get across the net, which is just so much, I don't know, it's, it fires me up way, way, way more. Um, than a, than a kill would. So when you get those big blocks, especially in those key moments, like what's your go-to celebration, that like instinct that kicks in? Like, are you a fist pump? Do you stomp? Are you both hands up? <laughs> yeah, I've seen a lot of pictures from me celebrating. If it's me blocking, I don't know. Sometimes I'll give like a one hand in the air <laughs> with like a mean mug, just like, that was foolish. Like, <laughs> just stinks. That was such a good block, it smells. Um, or, I do get a nice double fist, like kind of crunched over, like I'm just so jazzed. Um, but for everyone else, I, I, I do a little out of finger pointing. Like with that, with Betty, I'll also put my, like, my guns up for her. Um, but yeah, I think I'm more of like a one fist or like a two down, one high, two low. I love that. Yeah. So a lot of times opposites throughout college, maybe they don't play a ton back row. Has that something as you become a pro that's become more a part of your game and kind of a new challenge? Yeah, so I did not play back row when I was in college at all. Um, and then going abroad, it was a big challenge for me. But in college, I worked on defense a lot. Like I was always like, can we do extra defensive reps? Because I really wanted to be a well-rounded player, um, not just like, you know, the opposite that scores points and blocks. Like I wanted to be good at everything. So it was challenging going abroad and having to just sink or swim. Um, and I do get targeted on defense for sure, but I love it. Like it's such yeah. a, 
pursuit. It's like, it's so gritty, you know, just to like try and keep the ball off the floor. Like Morgan is a fantastic uh, person to watch because she just makes everything, like it makes it so hard to score. And I would love to be that person that makes it so hard to score, which is why I love blocking as well. I love that. Yeah. Defense is such a different like type of challenge of like having the will to go for it. Exactly. So no matter who you are, if you play an opposite, what's one thing that you think all opposites, whether it's an attitude or an attribute, all have in common? That's such a good question. I, I mean, looking at the opposites that have been here, I feel like they're really intense. I think like I don't know if I'm the most intense player because I just have like a more fun spirited uh, way of going about it. I think Shayla Castro is like the perfect balance of fun and intense. Mm -hmm. um, but you looked at like Karsta who is really really intense. Fallon is also really really intense. Um, even Erica is so 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 intense on the court. So I think that there's just this intensity that goes along with being an opposite that like you're gonna be the big block, you're gonna be the big arm that scores. And I hope that people are also thinking like you're gonna be the person that plays defense as well. <laughs> um, but I think it's just a big intensity on the opposite side. I love that. Thanks for taking us into the mind of an opposite hitter. Thank you. Bye everybody. Perfect. <laughs> Thanks for watching. That was Disney great. Channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna catch it. That was perfect. Thanks. You, rock, you rocked that. <laughs> I love the ending. We're using that.